said you want to become a Muslim. Yes, Did any push you to become a Muslim? Uh, it's my feelings. It's my feelings. It's your feelings. Yeah. What's your name? Um, Oben Shadra. Oben Shadra. Oben Shadra. A Ghanaian Christian. Um, that praise, praise be to God, the Almighty Father. Islam is a peaceful religion whereby if uh, you make a lot of research, you find that the, the deeper truth about Islam, it all means peace. That is what Islam is about. And uh, I'm very happy this morning as I visited Ghana uh, this time uh, and meet you as a, as a young taxi driver who just saw me and explained to me that he wants to become a Muslim. I'm very happy. Uh, you need to submit yourself to God. That's what we mean by Islam. Surrounding yourself to the Almighty. And after that, believing that Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of God. Allah has sent him to mankind to call people to worship God. And Jesus Christ is also a messenger of God, not a son of God, no God. He is not. He is a holy prophet from the Holy Spirit, but he is a messenger, a messenger just like Prophet Muhammad, just like Prophet Jacob, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, and as a Muslim, you have a duty to respect every prophet that has been mentioned in the Quran. You have to respect, don't say because I'm not a Muslim, I don't respect Jesus, I don't respect, no, 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 no. You can never be a pure Muslim without accepting the rest of the messengers of Allah. Do you believe in that? Okay. Uh, I will say a word in Arabic, slowly, you follow it, it's all about submission to I said, Ashadu. Raise your hand like this. Ashadu. An, an, la, ilaha, illa, Allah. Wa ashadu. Anna, Muhammad, Rasulu. Allah. Wa ashadu. Anna Isa. Anna Isa. Abduhu. Wa Rasulu. What you just say is, you bear witness that there's no God to worship except Allah the Almighty. Did you accept that? And you said, you bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. Did you accept that? Yes, and you say, you bear witness again that Jesus Christ, we call him Isa, is also a messenger of Allah. Did you accept that? Yes, the congratulations, you are a Muslim from down. You are a Muslim, as fasting Ramadan is coming, it is compos compulsory on you to practice unless you are sick. Then, you will, the days that you will miss, you will recover them after the month of Ramadan. You don't eat in the daytime, you don't drink in the daytime, from the sunset to sunfall. That is Ramadan. Uh, my son here will help you to learn more. I'll give you his contact. And also, if you have a wife, you slept as marriage couples, you have to take a holy bath. That was also you will be taught, inshallah. And uh, I will have some nice dress for you now to, to use to be praying with it, inshallah. From today, from now, all your sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you. You have opened a new page of life. It is very clear that you are with Allah, you are with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
if you follow the rules and the regulation of Islam, which name do you prefer to have? Ibrahim. You want to be called yeah. Ibrahim. Say that Ibrahim. Ibrahim is one of the greatest prophets that the Quran has mentioned. Congratulations, Ibrahim. From today, you are a Muslim, our brother, our whatever. You are one of us today. May Allah accept uh, your submission and may Allah open the doors of life for you. How can you pray? Yeah. That is where my son will come. He's my son, he's my student. So he will come. Uh, there he will teach you. Uh, you, are in, you are just working now. And uh, you met me and, uh, as a taxi driver. Because Allah has blessed you with Islam. You just started to tell me you, are, you want to take Islam. So uh, you will be taught. You will teach rather from now as we are talking and you will share contact with me with him i live in europe so whatever you need just call me i will explain more to you and if you want also you call me him his name is muhammad nazir so that's all what islam is about yeah so, is he going to teach me how to read the quran how, how, how to read the arabic yeah first uh, there are so many ways of praying when you just accept Islam. Uh, you can, we have the most compulsory uh, surah, we call it Fatiha. Uh, as a Muslim, when you don't know how to pray, your, 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 your salat, your prayers is not being accepted by God. But for the newcomers like you, there is a way he will show you. You don't necessarily have to recite it now because you don't know. But I will teach you and he will teach you how to pray without fatia in the salat for them and then he will write everything for you it's arabic but it will tend to be like you are reading in english like alhamdulillahi rabbil alami will be written in english and you follow don't worry anything that we will practice or we do in in the prayers gradually Allah will help you to get yeah alhamdulillah congratulations again congratulations let me let me bring one dress for you it's, it's okay sit down no, no. Those I have in the in the in the in the plastic are so long. You, you can say I'm taller than you, but this will fit you for for your prayers. Yeah, and more will come. Believe me, more will come. I will let my son buy a lot for you, but for now we we'll start with this. Ibrahim, do you have any question? Inshallah, you will be teach. My, my son will take care of that. Yeah. Everybody who accepted Islam always begin from the scratch. So, no problem. God will do it, Inshallah. Huh? Inshallah. Congratulations again. Man Nazir. Inshallah. Allah accept your submission. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu alaikum.